polygon law polygon law if number of vectors are represented at a point o and their vector sum is zero or in another way if o is in equilibrium under the action of several forces p q r s t then we can form a closed polygon by representing these vectors by the sides of a polygon taken in an order the vectors can be represented by the sides of a polygon taken in an order let us try to understand this using the figures let us take the vectors p bar q bar r bar s bar t bar acting at o and they are such that p bar plus q bar plus r bar plus s bar plus t bar is equal to 0 then let us represent like this let us represent p bar by oa the vector oa represents in magnitude and direction by the vector p bar represent is represented in magnitude and direction by oa the vector q bar is represented in magnitude and direction by ab so ab should be parallel to q bar and proportional to the length of vector q bar the vector r bar is represented in magnitude and direction by bc so bc should be proportional to r and the direction of bc should be the direction of r bar and cd represents s bar and do represents t bar like this when we represent the vectors then we will get the closed polygon so whenever several vectors are acting at a point such that their resultant is zero then they can be represented by the sides of a regular polygon taken in an order